Hello, anyone who's marching now or later, Elin here along with... Rocky here! And welcome to some... Uh, to showcase Sunday. I almost said something Sunday again. And uh, yeah, here we'll be showing off... Well, yeah, <laughs> we'll be showing off four games. Uh, and we'll judge if they may be good for streaming afterwards. And first off here is Stealth Buster Deluxe Edition. From what I know of this game, it's actually a, sor a sort of remake slash sequel to a Flash game called S Stealth Bastard, I think. But I'm not entirely sure on that. I'd have to double check. Either way, this is a 2D stealth game that I have played before, as you can well see. <laughs> I do wonder if they would replay all the story bits. And this is still checking here currently running windowed and it doesn't have a resolution selection that was a bit annoying for a bit uh, yeah. let's start the timer and start here then let's see send in the clones then yeah there's time trials for this stuff not that I may have any interest in that let's see camo suit no equipment basic clone units the PTI is cheap expand and yeah, expendable in the workforce, no particular aptitudes or abilities, just goggles and a slight pouch. <laughs> a punch. <laughs> Camouflage suit. The latest in light bending fabric makes your clone invisible for a limited period. Just don't get caught in the open when it runs out of charge. Hold down C to charge up and use. Okay. I'll ju we'll just start here. about all the intro we get we control with the arrow keys oh, I'd forgotten about that mm, yeah it's we can't move through that so we'll just have to go here let me, let me take a second to see if my controller will connect and take over no it won't so that can go back behind the keyboard Should have a jump, I believe. Well, we don't have that yet. Get to the exit. Fully visible. Oh, Z is to jump. Okay. And yeah, at the bottom it shows how visible we are somewhere. It will come in. <clears throat> it will come in use later. Okay. And I already confused. Why is not space for jump? Uh, I, th I think on controllers for some reason, well, we, for some reason, the A button is usually tied uh, to the Z button when a game is ported from controller to keyboard for some reason. Oh. Next up, primer. Still just going with the bare suits. Let's see. Jump and push forward to grab lens. Like that. Do that there, and then we can go straight up. Can use switches like that. Crouch by down. And yeah. okay. now we need to go. <laughs> this is, um, we could have we could have died earlier by falling into that pit. I forget what those cameras do. Hmm, but the fact that there's a dead clone probably means that it's bad business, so let's not get caught. It'll probably be equipped with a freaking laser or something. Okay. Exit's open. I wonder a bit. I think the green lights atop yeah, at the exit is possibly of where in the world stages we are or something. Oh, 
Oh look, we have a decoy unlocked. Okay. Wait. Wait. Yeah, I think. Okay. Equip your clone with a holographic decoy projected to, you know, to trick robots or cameras. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Camera is stationary by the looks of it. Or is it just going to take a while to move? Okay, yeah. I should have expected that to happen. Okay. What are we to do then? There, we can't get past the camera like this. Certainly not like that. Okay. Maybe this time you need it? a camouflage thing. And yeah, it only works if stand. Hmm. It should be possible without any extra. So what is going on then? Is something else supposed to happen, or am I missing something? Can't interact with these doors. Okay. I remember some of these levels that other clones come in at some point or something to activate stuff, but I'm not sure if that's one of these. Or is the game just glitching that... I get the feeling that that camera is supposed to move. I saw it move earlier. Cannot move past that. Okay, the head is there. Okay, that is a bit of a tricky jump to put in the third mid level. Okay. Now, how is that going to help us? Because we can't get over it. We can't interact with that again. Huh. Oh, okay, did I, for a second I... I thought that... <laughs> okay, I thought that the, the camera was killing us with a laser or something, but no, it was closing the freaking door on top of our head. <laughs> that would what has happened. Okay, we're invisible whilst in shadow. Oh, okay, uh... But just barely squeeze through. Okay. Uh, yeah, we want to avoid the cameras as much as possible. And yeah, they're going to get tricky with the lighting, as you can very obviously see. There are goggles at all times. See? Now we're back here. We're, okay, it said something on the wall there, but I did, couldn't see it. I saw it. It said, was it so hard now, was it? And apparently someone got that done in six seconds. Okay. Let's see. Pressure's on. And this one had the decoy unlocked already. I, I don't know what's... Oh, uh, yeah, we do not... Yeah, we would have been crushed under that. And, yo, the pillar has a face. <laughs> yeah, it looks sad that we left it alone. Okay, um, I see a ledge up on the left that we can use. Oh. It's so happy when you stand on it and push it around. But, oh. And oh, there is another clone showing up. Okay, hmm. yeah, but hmm. Uh, yeah, oh. Okay, we need to know. We need to open that up 
just enough for us to climb or to crawl through. Otherwise, we'd get zapped. Okay, that one activates that, that one activates that. Oh, you can also see the angle of the. <laughs> yeah, that, that one would have killed. Uh, okay, yeah, you don't want to click. You don't want to hold down these buttons at all times. And we have another crate here. Hmm. Is this going to be another trap or something? It does lower the floor. And race it against. Okay, we're yeah, we need we need this thing <coughs> to hold that down so it continuously up ups and downs the floor. So we can get on the left side when it's low. And then get well have it raised again. And let's not get crushed there. <laughs> Okay, so far so good. And it's on something about Sonic Decoy there. Let's see. Creates an audible dis uh, distraction by pressing C. Okay. Crawl space. Must have done better on some of these tests to have the decoys unlocked on some of them already or not. What do you do? Trying hard to impress. Okay. And then we push you there. This camera is harmless because it doesn't activate any lasers. That drops that there and then we can continue around. Okay. Now, this is I believe this game is very cheap as well on Steam, like. Not entirely sure, but I think it is. Um, let's see. Okay. That's gonna follow us 360 degrees. That drops that one down. Okay. Um, hmm. Have I got myself stuck? Yeah, no, I, I can jump over it. There, that way we we get around without it locking up. And even, even if it had spotted us, we could have climbed back up there. Uh, this is... Hmm. This is a good idea. Okay. And then we just crawl back. Yeah, th this game overall is a pretty simple, well, I say simple, when it, it show so far it is pretty simple, but it gets pretty hard as it goes. But it's also reasonably short with each of these. So, I think we could, uh, I can, I think we could stream this game. So, is that really any story? Yeah, there is a bit, I think. Uh, we could probably put this on the weekends. Okay, are those going... Those are probably going to be lasers. I mean, it also depends how short it is. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I should have expected that that would activate it. At least we get Me some jam. checkpoints. Alright, we need to get over that thing without getting spotted. We can't jump for that, but we can jump here. Not get, <laughs> let's not get crushed. Now, what is the full use of putting that there? Hmm. Oh yeah, now we have a way down. Uh -oh. Okay. It closed. Did not see that one. Yeah, this game does have a bit of problem error. Okay, now we 
we have a chamber here. Let's see, what will be the trap here? There's blood on the wall, so obviously something. Oh, that's, I see it already as a laser at the top there. Okay. Let's dodge the camera. And the laser there. Okay. Where do we... Where do we need to put that? Okay, starting to show potential. It, this is some sort of floating test chamber. Or test facility. Um, okay, that one goes really fast. Yeah, I guess they are using it for stealth missions. And, yeah, I have a cloning program for that. Okay. That was laser burns, shadow puppets. And, yeah, here we're going to have to deal with these turning lights even more. Time to off your game. We are not getting that thing without getting lasered. Uh, what will this activate then? Or Okay. Oop. Pressing that stops the turning light. But we have nothing to hold it down. But oh, that's why it's one of those pillars is here. Okay. And I, keep, I took way longer on that jump than I should have. This one to hold down this button when it's shielding that area. Okay. There we go. And what does this open then? Raise that one and we can go down. Okay. Wait, did that? Uh, I overlooked the button there, so did I just accidentally screw myself? Don't see what that does. Okay. Now then we just go back to this. Blind this thing. And oh now I see. The bars are the amount of consoles that you need to hack. Okay. It has been quite a long time since I played this game. And here yeah. we go. Meet the boss. And you were going oh, to say I said, will you, you seem to you to open a small tunnel before you enter the exit. I must have overlooked that then. Okay. Star test. Sentinels can see everything. Oh, okay, so it, it will see, it will, it won't directly see us, but it will sense us if we are in its range. Okay, we have a switch right there, we have a console there, we have an inactive switch on the sides. Yeah, we do not want to get seen by this thing at all. Okay, now things are getting serious. Bloody heck. Okay, wait for this thing to look away. Hello, another one of these. Um, what do we do with you? We're actually blocking the path that way. We can't actually get into cr a little crawl spaces like that. Okay. Oh, I see. Now we we put this one down there, then we can climb into the lower console. And then things are probably going to get bad for us. And now we have to go back around from here. At least it gives safe. <laughs> At least it gives che yeah, gives checkpoints. Because yeah, some of these but, missions can take quite a few minutes, I'd say. Yeah, and I, I think like they want people to have fun, not 
in a rage. Oh, come on, the very same spot. Okay, as long as the sentinel looks away here, we should be safe. I presume I can see two layers to that um, to that sideline of theirs, or well, the around them. I'm guessing. Okay. Oh, come on, I need to go back around again. I'm guessing the outer. I, I'm guessing in the inner one, it takes a lot less time for it to notice you. Okay. Okay. Simple enough. Use a platform to block the lasers. And that one's going to be tricky. Or, okay, it would have been tricky. Okay. Signs of potential. Okay, and out. Yeah, we'll be seeing those things more often as we go on. Let's see. Phase one completed. Company notices. Loading facilities. Oh, okay, these must have been things I picked up along the way somewhere. I'll have to see if I might, if I can reset my progress with this game somewhere. Phase one. Let's see here at PTI Industries, we value individuality. That's why we use clones for all our high-risk testing. Use of clones and cloning facilities is covered in Section 20, 221C of the PTI Staff Handbook. All clones are PTI property and are not to be removed alive, dead, or whole, whole or in part from this facility. It is a venerable offense to use clones as household servants, private companions, or legal scapegoats. Clone meat is not suitable as pet food. I'm pretty sure if it's illegal to use clones for ta simple tasks like that, that it's even more illegal to use them in deadly testing. Test units are now operational about the facility. Although their weaponry is not armed outside of live test chambers, we urge you to avoid any unnecessary contact with our robots. They are strong, compassionless, and most dangerous of all, recently unionized. <laughs> <laughs> Under no circumstances should you engage them in conversation regarding work conditions, healthcare, or overtime rates. I'm not sure if these are just here. Okay, let's let's just go through all of them. This week marks the company's 20th anniversary. Therefore, on Friday at 0600 hours, our workers at all facilities will observe a minute silence in honor of the dead. Okay, that doesn't bode well. For your production, following the recent and very public hacking of PTI's company servers, senior staff members are advised to change their passwords, bank account details, and their families' identities. Wait, okay. what? The, the last one is... Okay, the first one I'm makes turning. sense. The other one is con very concerning, the last one extremely concerning. Yeah. Sensor maintenance. Plant maintenance work will take place at our northwest facility uh, this weekend to uninstall the energy saving light bulbs fitted as part of last month's social and environmental responsibility drive. Whilst we applaud their environmental friendliness and cost efficiency, the bulb slow warm up time has significantly impaired the speed and efficiency of our security lighting. Okay. That's. Mm. On the one hand, it, it is better to just have good bulbs, but if they are not working well, then, well, they're not working well. Yeah. Information security. PTI Industries has nothing to hide from the public. It has plenty to hide from the public. Uh, therefore, there is absolutely no reason whatsoever for any member of PTI staff to engage in conversation or contact with journalists or members of the press. Similarly, you should have nothing to discuss with your friends or family members regarding PTI staff, facilities, or active activities, past or present. Such conversations would be a waste of time, and PTI does not employ time wasters. 
yeah. It's a very blatant attempt to basically tell them shut up without telling them to shut up in <laughs> direct words. Tiredness kills. The PTI, we believe it is in everybody's best interest to adhere to workforce health regulations. It is a legal requirement that all workers of organic origin engaged in classroom physical activities be given a break every 30 minutes with basic refreshments provided at company cost. Therefore, any clone spending more than uh, 29 minutes in a single test uh, in a single test sequence uh, should be redrawn to a recuperation area and destroyed without refreshments. Really? That does remind me of something that I heard. I'm not sure if this was in America or not, but there was a new law in plan. Or no, I'm not. I could have been the Netherlands here either. Uh, that I don't know if this is recent or old, but at a certain point, companies were required to have to provide anyone working yeah, for more yeah, for X amounts of hours per week to provide them with uh, I forget what exactly. For, likely health uh, services and such so you can guess what happens everyone who worked that amount of time got fired and rehired for one hour less daddy daughter day that, that, Peter hopes that, that sounds the... oh, sorry go on uh, you can go on but yeah that, yes, that I... was extremely scummy yeah that, that sounds like something that would happen in the usa Daddy Daughter Day. PTI hopes that this year's Daddy Daughter Day will be a fun, safe, and tra tragedy free. Entry begins at 0430 and is sharp. Subject to security, to click and clearance. Children will be admitted to the family welcome suite at 0630, where their blindfolds may be removed. Clown clones will serve cereals and fruit juice before testing begins. A sign up sheet for the Small Fingers Junior Machine Worker Training Program can be found on all notice boards today is breakfast will be discounted for those who join it. Okay, so basically trying to get workers while they're young. Let's see. Chapter two. How are we on time for this one? Three minutes, we can do one or two in that. T turret syndrome. Come on. Turret shooting sights. Okay, that's a turret. And yeah, because there's a dead clone there. It's glad that you're paying attention. Okay, another one here. They probably take it really short to notice us because the cameras do take. Oh, the cameras do take a bit of a second. To notice us. Okay, hello there. Um, hmm. Okay, with you we can shield that one from light. Okay. I do wonder if, if we would target cloning here for a uh, half an hour, if the, it would give an automatic game over. I didn't actually stay. Also, we can use this one to get across. But yeah, we wouldn't be wasting people's time for that long, hopefully. Yeah, um, that's probably something you get to do off screen. Now, how do we get that one? I'm not seeing any more switches that we could use. Mess up or something. We, we couldn't push it the other way. Is this too hard for you? Uh, come on. Hmm. Okay, maybe I did need to push it the other way. Let's retry this one time and then we'll probably call it. Since we'll be at the half hour. I could have completely avoided risking the turret there. Can I... Can I land on that? Yes, I can. 
Okay, this is what we were supposed to do. There you go. Then we move you the other way. So yeah, it is possible to soft lock yourself in some of these levels. Put you on the edge. Jump across. And there we go. Is it going to stay closed or is it timed? Okay, just staying closed. Okay. Just in time too. Okay. So yeah, we could definitely we got through that in less than half an hour, well, through the first world in less than half an hour. Um, it does get harder later on, I believe. But yeah, we could put this, we could put this as an in-between thing or put it on Saturday. For now though, oh, let's move on to game number two then. <clears throat> Okay, G you know, G Galaxy Star. This one is probably also uh, one that uh, is basically set from the start that we will be streaming it. And okay, Discord isn't offering the immediate, the quick button for this. Still can get it that way though. I close that off. One small annoyance with this Here. is that uh, into a it's a very small shards, window. Forcing its steam-driven inhabitants into space. Hard-working folks known as Calbut survive by farming moisture and mining what little land is left, constantly dealing with all sorts of space jerks. There are the gangs of scrap metal meanies roaming about, preying on the weak and completely disregarding basic manners. Then there are the diesel-driven royalists, a bunch of oppressive bullies, abusing their power and bleeding the cow butts dry. To top it all off, there are rumors of something far more dangerous stirring in the depth of space, waking from its age-long slumber. These are the descendants of a shattered planet, and this, my distinguished gentle butts, is the new Steam World. This is Steam World Heist, the sequel to the Steam World games that we've streamed before, uh, before we actually recorded them and uploaded them to YouTube as a backup. So yeah, th this is what? this is definitely going on the list for eventual since well we did Steam World One, at least we did Steam World Dig One and Two, so why not finish off the series with this? Well, you streamed that. That, that was before me. True. Okay, there is there is another Steam World game though, and there is yet another in the works at the moment, the first 3D one, I believe. But for those, we'll have to see how they are. I, I've not heard too much about the Steam World Quest game, I believe it is, and yeah, the other one is still in the works. So let's start the timer and start a new game. Let's see, experience, regular friends. The lighter chance that something allows you to go in the guns blazing. Mission pound. Okay. Nice to always nice when the game shows you what it changes per on the difficulty. Now let's go on regular. Because well, it's a showcase, not a <laughs> not a try hard trial. Faraday, notorious smuggler and occasional pirate is having a rough time. A brutal gang of thugs called Scrappers are spreading across her turf in the outskirts. Stealing everything in sight, they have even been known to kidnap the locals. Their presence could draw unwanted attention from the Royal Space Force. In short, they are bad for business. Low on water, Piper and her mates have boarded a Scrapper ship, aiming to relieve them of their ill-gotten cargo. And of course, it all went according to plan. <laughs> it does not go according to plan. 
series showing that you could never trust a narrator. The positively macabre place. Okay. We can look around. Okay, what was that we fell through? The floor? Hey, fellas, you alright? Alright, better get up there and help out. Let's see what yeah, she can game... do. Hmm? Alright, let's see what she can do. Yeah. This game plays a lot different than the Steam World Dig games because yeah, it had it's called Steam World Heist. This one is a two, it's a two-dimensional XCOM game in like uh, I, I said Asian and like at the same time. Yes. <laughs> uh, basically, it's a 2D shooter with in turn-based combat. Press guard to enter. Okay. F. Confirm. Nope. Oh, whole cowboy down here? Ain't I lucky? And if I help myself to some of your water? When I'm done with you, I'll use it for some spare parts. <laughs> oh, you just tried, Bob. Okay, let's take some cover because always a good idea. And we can take aim. And. Okay, we need to click again to fire. And the bullet fire overloads the exact path of the line. That I do recall. You can ricochet get no bullets in this game. Okay, we are out of actions it seems, so guard. And let's move. Okay, maybe there was. Okay, probably could have still moved, but it doesn't matter now. Always nice when a game shows those lines that show you how far you can move. But then again, it's kind of required for turn-based crit based games. Let's see. Turrets. Fan security for a hunk of junk. But I can cover behind that shut up barrel. Okay. Right. As typical with this kind of games, you have two actions. If you move farther than your normal range, you'll use both actions to move. You won't be able to fire after a sprint like that. I'll just wait my turn. Yeah. It's either move and shoot, move double, or maybe even shoot twice. We'll have to see. Well, right, my turn. Better up my gun. Amp up my gun so I can take that turret out with one shot. Don't have to trust another go covering behind this thing. Okay, so that's an ability. Power shots. Regular shot that deals plus one da bonus damage. Okay, that's a little. We can move this around specifically. Okay. Probably best to move the mouse, uh, move the screen more before we try this. There's a cooldown of three turns. Okay. There we go. You were trying to say something earlier? I would have forgot. that up and I believe it is here that we'll want to go Seabrass you took your sweet time captain he was coming to save you and all where's the rest of you for they got scrapped and haul hauled off I'm the only one left so guard dang it we need to get out of here before we end up in some scrappy all right captain Okay, so take cover, and so we don't have much of a good line on him since he's hiding there, but we do have a lot of a better shot on this guy. And there we go. Sea press. what can you do? We've also got a pistol, it seems. Let's get up closer to this guy, and then can we actually get a shot on him like that? I think so. Maybe you can... Yeah. Okay, he has his oh, shotgun. Oh. There's a way out. Let's steal one of their escape pods. <laughs> the heck? I, this, the screen is a bit too small. It's, it's like this. It's about this what size we, for me. <laughs> the what size we, of a read postcard. Shall I read it out for you? Yeah, too sweet? I, I could have just put an OBS. Too <laughs> sweet! Okay. Uh, let's not get too hasty because we don't know what's behind that door. Seabrass, can you go check this door? 
Uh, and that's exactly why I was being cautious. Okay. We'll give them a turn to take cover and take shots. Horrible shots from the look of it, so he, yeah, he has a good line on there. Okay. Hyper, you deal with this guy. That's for you. You you get up close. Okay, that is a risky move. But he has plenty of health. For the moment at least. Okay, you cover. And now Piper. Shoot this guy in the back. And there we go. Okay, and now just get out. I wonder how many times they can fight, because that didn't seem to take up any of her movement space. I'm... Unless I'm overlooking something that'll get explained later. For now, though, this DTFO. Okay, board the escape pod and finish this mission. 100% of all stock collected. Swab hat. This bowler might be a bit worse for wear, but it's still uh, stylish, right? <laughs> anyway, it's better than freezing your scalp off. A uh, small amount, a uh, small but rewarding amount of treats. Okay, I think I accidentally double clicked there. Okay, we didn't get to see what actually was in that. See, Wonky, welcome back, Captain. <laughs> Dang it, Wonky, we won't get any work done with eating scrappers hogging everything in sight. <laughs> no good steam maggot heads are even pilfering the parts of honest cow bots. We'll have to do something about it, they hauled off most of our crew back there. Yorg, I'm still here. But the water shortage is a tough spot, no mistake, Nit. This puts us at skeleton crew. <laughs> What am I, invisible? <laughs> the sounds of it. We didn't even get that much water. We'll need more gallons to get back on our feet. Because, yeah, there it's a steam world, which means that everlifted robots are driven by steam. And, well, once you run out of water, you run out of steam. Let's figure something out. Okay, man, just set the course over on the map table, and I'll get us moving. Okay. What? <laughs> Let's see what uh, poor old ignored Seabrass has to say. Golly, that went bad. <laughs> Those patchy bold hats had me staggered, Yark. It makes me scream as about boarding bigger ships, it does. Doesn't feel... I don't feel uh, much like ending up in some scrappy. But you are a sailor. Okay, is there anything else to do around here? Is it me? Or does she... Kind of remind of a commissar from Warhammer for the K almost. Yeah, she does have a yeah, similar look to it. And hold a gun, similar manner. Uh, a lot of characters wield their guns like that, but it's it's probably a combination of the hat and the yeah the holding position. Yeah. <laughs> Getting prepared would be high priority, man. Grumpy old Seabrass might be a capable fellow, but we're not fit to handle all the ghost scrappers. <laughs> we'll just have to round up some more gallons. Okay, and this will be our mission select, since we need to find some more gallons. Yeah, we got that by now. Okay. Building up. With nothing but Ripper class scrappers aboard, this tiny vessel should be easy pickings even for a small and desperate crew. Grab as much as possible and get out. Okay. Collect swag and evacuate. That's all that needs to be done. And it looks like we'll eventually have enough space for five characters to send in. Yeah, we're starting out with Piper and Seabrass. Uh, 
Oh, hello. Captain's hat. The ship requires many things a captain has but one. Proper headwear to show who's boss. Who's the boss? You're the boss. Fisherman's beanie. A thick verti uh, yeah, vertically yeah, knitted beanie. It smells of salt, sea, and whale clobbering. Seriously, you can feel the rage of its former owner oozing all over. Okay. They don't have any utilities equipped. And they both have their gun. A uh, junkyard shotgun. A default scatterer, decent spread but low accuracy. Used if no other weapon is equipped. Requires no inventory space. Okay, so we can bring a main... You always have your sidearms, but you can bring a different gun if needed. Or they'll probably be better than just these little things. Scope smuggler special. Your default scoped combat... Yeah. A yeah, compact gun with smart aiming. Used if no other weapon is equipped. Alright, let's start then. And, okay, I'm guessing all of these blood. All, if not most, of these ships are going to be randomly generated. Can you hear me? It's wonky. I've hooked up uh, to some exposed plumbing on this ship uh, so I can speak to you. Should be an easy mission, nothing like last not like the last one. Just grab all the gallons you can. And if you make uh, if you should come across any epic swag, make sure to bring it back. And so we start off. Think, yep, there's something in there. And another up there. I'm guessing they can probably open that up. But first let's just get into cover. He can't he doesn't have a shot at sea brass, but. I think I'll move him over here just in case. Let the other one come to us instead. Yeah, there he comes. This is okay, he still has something to shoot, but he's an absolutely terrible shot. That one less so because he moved him to a much better position. You though, get up close and give him a greeting. Okay. Piper, you move over there. You can still probably get a shot if he moves up, but it'll be harder to get. For now, shoot him in the back. Okay, that was just a dumb shot there that he did. And is that it for now? I'm not sure if there's any sort of alert type system in this game. But it looks like we're in the clear for the moment. Okay, what's behind door number two? Nothing, but there is some swag, so we'll just grab that. Okay, Zebras, take a quick peek up here. Oh, hello. Quick exchange, but the winner is already known. And it does seem that cover does have health. There we go. By the way, people, fun fact. Uh, probably not even a good fact for you, Helium. But do you know the classical cowboy hat you see in every movie and such? Yeah, the Stetson, I believe it's called. Yep, they never used it. Okay, they so they similar used... to uh, Viking helmets with horns. Yeah, what we see here, this bowler hat, that's what all cowboys used. So yeah, okay. there's no smaller or more practical than the huge ones. But I guess the big ones are practical just. Yeah, he prefer the, the ones we see here, the smaller ones. Okay. It looks like opening some doors is free, but others not. Oh, oh actually, no, that was because I stopped him before. Yeah, I, I probably could have sent him through the door in one go there, but yeah, I didn't. Okay, that's all of the stuff. We should have enough water by now, and we won't get paid for wrecking scrappers. Let's pocket all the swag and head for an escape pod. Okay. Let's get over here. Actually, I'm going to stick around a bit longer just to check a 
there might be something hidden in the cockpit here. Yep, now just another scrapper. So we can take off. There we go. Always good to check at least if there's something. And it doesn't seem like we need time to heal. Oh, hello there. What's your name? Hello, Romy! Hello. A bunch of water. The grand hey. prize. A hard to come by goodie will most certainly contain something more powerful than your average swag. Plus one reputation. <clears throat> Pardon? All right. And hello, Rom. Uh, Happy New Year, by the way. Happy New Year, yay. You got a gun. Carrion pistol. Primitive, but All actually right. less bitter. Does what it's supposed to. And more water. Brass knuckles. A bar brawler's first, your first choice when cornered. Leaves a plus one uh, melee mark on your opponent's chin. Robots with brass knuckles now. And more experience gains. Okay. Yeah, I'll be oh, right back. Yep. I'm just gonna throw some food into the machine. Okay. Let's see. Okay, plus one health. And Seagrass gets... Payback. Vanguards become enraged when taking damage. When enraged, their next attack will deal plus two bonus damage. Okay. So, yeah, he's basically a... Yeah, he already has a shotgun, but he's basically supposed to be up front, where he'll take shots at enemies, uh, just get up close, take shots, and deal them back. Here's a quick question. Do any one of you want to play co-op Half-Life 2? Uh, <clears throat> oh. Yeah, Half-Life 2 has co-op, or is probably a mod, I'm guessing, then? It's a mod. I think there's a bunch of mods. The one I know the most is Synergy. Okay, I wouldn't be against it. What about you, Drakir? Yeah, he, he just oh. stepped away. <laughs> right. Let's see. That should be enough water. Let's head for Gat's Bar. And spend it. Oh, I got like a new cannon. Give me a trustworthy gun any day over an inexperienced crewmate. 50 bucks says you're spending it up. How much about you're spending it on the rookie? I thought we were welcome at Gats anymore. Is that Gat? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's an egg. Yeah, I, I have it in a pretty small window on my end. Well, now we've got guns to spend and got, that's got it. Uh, an and Gat's not an unreasonable fellow. You wanna okay. know what I found out at New Year's? Uh, what? You wanna know what I found out at New Year's? Uh, what did you find out? I am awful at classic axe gum. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, I played that game a few times, but I never got to the end. I did get far enough in to get, like, the, the Firestorm uh, fighters and such, but I never got, no, I never got too far into it. Typically because, no matter what difficulty, I'd eventually get either bored or completely smashed. Honestly, I am better at the Firaxis new games than the old style, and I learned this because I decided to play Xenonauts. Uh, well, a sort of send up to XCOM one. Yeah, I know. Is this one. Hello again, folks. Hey. Okay, I, I think one of my lights is running low on battery, even though it's plugged in. Oh, wait. Oh. It's plugged into a USB hub, and it's with buttons to turn it on and off. So, yeah, it wasn't getting charged. Oh, well. Oh, dear. Did you turn it off and on again? I did now. <laughs> Anyways, I did get to the end of the Firaxis XCOM one, but I still need to play the sequels. Yeah. Here's a recommendation. Do not play the sequels with mods. Okay. First, okay, first play them vanilla. 
and then add the mods. Don't make the same mistake I fucking did. You know, what happens, and if the, <laughs> don't spoilers. Oh no, it's not spoiler, not like story spoilers, it's more along the lines of I may have accidentally fucked with the balance and now I can't really play vanilla XCOM. <laughs> okay. You broke the game. More it's... like, yeah, kind of, yeah, actually. <laughs> I added extra yeah. classes, extra enemies. And now it's Extra normal is just too dull. Yeah. <laughs> now vanilla is too dull, though. I gotta make sure everything's set up just to make sure I can fight. Right? Oh, so yeah, play the game vanilla, and then if you want to add the mods, add the mods. Okay. You know, we'll, we'll get to X with this, these uh, showcase Sundays eventually, and I, I probably will be streaming XCOM at some point sooner or later. Oh, one more thing. Drakir, are you opposed to playing Half-Life 2 co-op? I never played it. I've never been interested in playing it. I'm more of being more of happy to watch it on YouTube. Fair enough. And also, on a side note, I'm listening to you both with my speakers around my neck instead of my head. Huh. Yeah, he got a headset. Or headphones. Uh, yeah, headset yeah. is with, throne, it, with the it, it speakers and well, uh, I just, uh, mic. I just put it in the mic. Okay. Let's see. Shifty eye but, creatures love yeah. them. The only good thing about them, they're dripping with oil. Okay, <laughs> so he doesn't like the whales. I can move around with WASD with this as well, it seems. I think we've got enough water for now. Swing by, yeah, let's swing by Gats Bar and see where we can get, you know, if we can get what we need. Now I just might have to charm Gat a bit. Set the course to Gats, man. Okay. This is Gat Parrot's Bar. He is not too fond of smugglers, but he's not an unreasonable fella. Why do we get the feeling he's going to be unreasonable? Some, there's a bit of feedback coming from someone. Gats Orbit House. Okay. <laughs> Thought I told you to stay clear of this establishment, Faraday. <laughs> sure did, Gat. And we just need to stock up after a rough scuffle with some scrappers back there. <laughs> We've got a gallon suspense. And uh, just let me pick up uh, what we need and I'll be out of your scalp. <laughs> Last time you left with a bit more than you paid for and it could actually but I could actually use your help. Oh golly, now, now I've heard everything. The scrappers hit us all hard. They even kidnapped Mosby, a moisture farmer nearby a few days ago. Yesterday they stole this month's supply for, uh, for the bar, and now I won't be able to pay the royalist water taxes. Well, we can't have scrappers bothering the locals, and they should, you know, they should be rather flush to boot. Keep whatever else you round up, just bring my supplies back to me. Oh, and then, uh, gotta... there's actually a song going on in the background. Okay, I really gotta ask this question, and I've had it since fucking Star Wars. What the fuck is a moisture farmer? Uh, good point on that, actually. Right. Yeah. Oh, for someone that farms moisture, like, try to gather water. Oh, yes, yeah, but where would it here. come from even? It, it's typically on desert. It, we, with Tatooine is a freaking desert plant, so it would be expected that as much moisture would be collected and, uh, as possible, but where would it even come from if the whole planet is a freaking, <clears throat> is a freaking desert? As I said, underground. Underground, Hidian. Underground. Like in deep, deep caves, but it's uh, cold enough to uh, gather moisture. What then... Rather than moisture farming, wouldn't it be water mining? Hmm. I suspect they do a lot of things that uh, make it uh, gather moisture easier, that maybe require some plant or such. But that's... Uh, yeah, it's not to feel like this is probably one of those things one should YouTube Google up on. Yeah. 
look around and see it's bound to everyone. I, I do think it's an actual term. Oops, okay, we can spot my stuff, small storage unit, another small storage another pistol, small repair box, brass knuckles. But who the heck is she? Is that Gabler? Sally? Okay, we're no, gonna recruit this one, but we don't have enough reputation to. And yeah. Pro Fortune. <laughs> Take the pick, or why not buy the whole Nakadu Nakaboodle? Okay, so it's easy to shop. Anything more we can get out of you? Have you got my crates back yet, Faraday? Nope. So I guess that's what we'll be doing. Wonky. Sir Captain, how is old Gat getting by? Well, we're not alone in having problems with these dang scrappers. But where do we even come from? Are they making all of us other piratey types like bad? Royal Space Force will surely need to get involved with the scrapper spread much more. There won't be a safe harbor left for us in the outskirts if it comes to that. Let's, let's go help Gat out and pay the scrappers back while we're at it. Okay, so I'm guessing that means that the inner areas are controlled by these royalists, and yeah, that's the planet that, uh, yeah, spoiler warning for Steam World Dig 2, uh, got blown the hell up. Let's go beat some scrappers and school this troublemaker that's been bothering Gats. Uh, first, we'd have to get through this one here. Let's see, Triple Threat Terrors. This, uh, this ship belongs to a trio of terrible chopper class scrappers that have been attacking moisture farmers lately. Who should stop them from kidnapping the locals? Okay. I think we have enough time for this one. No, okay. Um, we can give... Actually, you can't use those. Cannot equip another weapon. Okay, let's give you that. Anything here that we can... Okay, we can equip brass knuckles there. But it'd probably be better... If we... If we give that to this guy. Can we just swap it over like that? Yes, we can. And, well, let's give the let's give him the freaking bowler hat. Yep, the true cowboy hat. And Piper's starting weapon has a laser support, like all sharpshooter class weapons. Okay. Now then, here goes nothing. And immediately, angel optics. You feel the beggars better have pro uh, protecting angels. Okay, um, let's see, yeah, he, he can just run up and get behind us there, so let's just, let's go down here instead, see brass, uh, you probably can't take, yeah, you can't take cover behind the same barrel, but you can get up there in one turn, and then to give this guy a face full. Oh, and he's hiding behind an explosive barrel. Not the brightest idea. Certainly not the brightest. I feel Nothing like there. one of the things you should do if you hunt behind barrels is to make sure they're not explosive. Yeah. So if it, even if the barrel is just red that doesn't have the explosive mark, just don't go near it. Oh, a single target. Uh, yeah, it's like rocking your ass down. Oh, Alright, better. And anything here? No, nothing. Okay. And move over. Actually. Okay, that's. We can get a bit of the shape of this room from that. Let's actually move him back and up there. Meantime, Piper goes collect this. And gets there. And I only now realize that that pickup sound is the very same pickup sound from SteamWorld Dig yeah, 1 and 2. Well, that's not a bad thing. It's the sound, so why not? Tuco, when you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. Well, you're talking now, so you're already breaking your own rule. Okay. Piper here, Seabrass will be behind for a bit. Damn your eyes. Okay. You'll be out in the open, but you can probably take a good shot at this guy. Yep. <laughs> this 
clean him up completely. Uh, need to get underneath him. There. Okay. That's two of the three dealt with. That's a very small room in there. So, see, guys, you move up there. That's the 30 minute counter. I did stop it for a bit because we were talking up lots. Okay. Seabrass, open this up. Oh, okay, that's good. Let's grab all of that. Uh, Piper, take a turn. Seabrass, collect that. No. Uh, you stay there. Have electronic mosquitoes again. Okay, Seabrass, come up close. Okay. There's the last one. Blondie. In this world, there's two kinds of people, my friends. Those with loaded guns and those who dig. You dig? Okay, that was the dig in the you understand side more. Okay. Let's see. I don't think... Let's see, can I swap to the other weapon somehow? Okay. Uh, how would I swap weapons? Okay, so you, you can't swap weapons, it seems. And let's take a shot at this guy, get a crit from it, and move Seabrass up. He was... Oh, he wasn't really exposed, he was using his captain as a freaking shield. <laughs> okay. Uh, Piper, you actually retreat, because you are pretty hurt. Seabrass, um, get behind that, and the, this will probably run not so hurt, yep, and we've got its cover, Piper is staying behind, because if she dies, probably the entire thing goes to hell, and that's payback triggering, so we just move up, oh, yeah, okay, payback, the payment to the terror, yeah, we already know that, Okay, since we have, since we had a, a melee weapon equipped, that would instead, we got that instead. I didn't, I, I didn't move enemies, I didn't move that close to enemies before. So it might just be that if you stand next to an enemy, it'll automatically go into <laughs> melee. I was mostly holding back a bit, a bit of distance before, since, well, it, I, it, yeah, be, yeah, because of the idea that if I was too close to an enemy, then the shot might accidentally go past them. <laughs> and there we go. There we go. Mm, what do we get? Some water. Gary and Uzi. High speed bullet dispenser with a quick release. Don't be dismayed by the aim, those bullets will spread just fine. Another carrion pistol, and more water. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is the question. More experience gained, but not enough for any levels. Okay, yeah. I'd say this one is definitely... Well, there was already a high chance of uh, streaming it sometime, but now I'd say it's a definite. Oh yeah, I'm getting curious of this. But for now, we'll grab it. Okay, th this is also always a good sign when a game tells you how long it's been since it's saved. Yeah. So that one's on the definite list. Now we're moving on to the third game and the biggest one of the night. No, not the night, it's, it's 4 a.m. <laughs> it's 4 p.m. So this one might take a bit to start up. If... Okay. Apparently, a vast doesn't like the launcher of this. Uh, what are you okay, playing? That is, okay, that's going to be a... You know, I very much doubt that I'd stream this for story at some point, at least. But Beanie has been wanting to stream this lately, and I might join in on that. Okay. Share to Drakir and Rom. And then hope that this loads without uh, issue. 
And yeah, this is Stellaris. Uh, I don't think there's much I need to say about this game that isn't already known by most. And yeah, th this is basically a real-time 4X strategy game. What that means is basically you're in control of a civilization and yeah, need to win over... <clears throat> You need to so, win so, over a bunch of different other species. So it's civilization by way of XCOM. Uh, yeah, and real time. You can. There's already a bunch of these pre-made, and you can make your own species as well. So let, let's just. Hmm. I'm guessing Let's this will just humans. randomly select one of these. Hmm? Uh, what did you say there? I said, let's be humans. Okay, then we no, have like, the United we Nations. We make our own empire, but it's like also humans. Okay, let, let, we can show that off at least. We have our appearance that we can choose from quite a few. Of course, some of these are DLC because it wouldn't be a civilization type game without DLCs up the, <laughs> up the ass. Even freaking Cyclopses. We've got machines, mammalians, reptilians, avians, atropods, musk. Molluscoids? Okay, I'm guessing that's how we... Yeah, the... Oh. Squid-like. And fungoids. Oh, yeah, let's go with humanoids. Yeah, normal recommended DLC. Okay. And with some of these... Hmm. There should be different types of starting planets with different... Uh, uh, not that, uh, humanoids there. Uh, let's roll the dice a few times. Corinth. Uh, that name is familiar, but I forget why. You, you, can e you can even write up a whole biography for your species here. Get previews. Uh, okay, no, I thought I would preview a different one here. And let's see, ship prefixes. Uh, name lists, examples, later names. Uh, let's see. Note uh, two. Um, let's just go with normal human names <laughs> for the moment. And I won't start the timer until we're done with this part at least. And yeah, you can also pick traits for your species. We. Two points left, but we can pick five. Okay. Agrarian. This species has a deep connection you know, to the land and makes expert farmers and gardeners. Food from jobs, plus 50%. Ingenious. Members of this species are good at thinking outside the box and know how to maximize the efficiency of their infrastructure and power grids. Energy credits. Industrious. Minerals. Intelligent. Better science. Thrifty. Trade value. Okay. And yeah, each of these have their co uh, have different costs. You can even you can also take. Oh, wait. Uh, what is? Okay, you can also pick bad traits to increase the amount of uh, points that you have. So yeah, we could go weak, for example, or repugnant. That would give us five points, but we can still pick three more things. So let's see. We let's try with let's try not being weak and repugnant, but pick okay. other <laughs> negative traits. Yeah, I expect the farmer and the wolf thing about energy grid is a good. How about thing? unruly? It's uh, unruly. about no. You missed. You you you, you passed it. Go up. Yeah, there it is. Unruly Empire's Proven Pops plus 10%. Mm -hmm. Unruly species are difficult to manage and organize. They do not like being told what to do and are often quarrelsome or questioning. Okay, and what yeah, other the, traits then? Uh, deviant? Is that a thing? Deviants. Yeah, These it, people are rebellious in nature and constantly try to challenge the status quo. Yeah, okay. Okay, that gives us. No. Three picks left with five points to spend. Okay, that venable, that's against. very old. Decadent species believe that whatever their 
Whenever there is hard work that needs doing, that work is always best done by somebody else. Okay, and yeah, some of these things are just unavailable or just unavailable because of, uh, yeah, DLC. Radiothropic. A species is sustained by a combination of both food and low energy radiation, and as such can thrive on the most inhospitable of planets. Okay. Some of these tra some of these traits have a lot of a, a lot different of an a lot bigger of an effect than others. Okay, let's go with agrarian, um, natural engineer, and not that. We've got one pick left, so let's take one with two. Let's do that. Okay, then we can choose our home world. Just hit the random button again a few times. Starting solar system, random trinary. Let's leave that at completely random. Okay. Um, we've got dry climate, arid, a desert, arid, and savanna, ocean, continental, and tropical. Alpine, Tundra, and Arctic. Let's just go straight in the middle. And then we can pick the... Ardu yeah, you could pick a lot of different things from the, uh, the designs, and even more with the freaking DLCs. And origin. Okay, I didn't remember this being here before. Prosperous unification. Through its strife and triumphs, this society has reached uh, every young, specific, uh, young civilization's ambition, a homeworld, unified goals, and a path open to the stars. Galactic Doorstop, this civilization has a dormant gateway in their home system, a uh, potential technology benefit, uh, technological benefit or looming menace. Starts with a dormant gateway in your home system. I believe that is typically a bad idea because a lot of bad things can come from those gateways. Resource consolidation. Oh, with the Stargate on the door. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lost colony. This civilization originated as a lost and forgotten Athen colony, separated from its homeworld long ago. The strong colonists endured many hardships before they were able to build up the necessary technological and industrial base that allowed for a return to space. The advanced empire of this species is spawned somewhere in the galaxy. Okay. Insert Battlestar Galactica reference here. Let's do this one. It probably won't have any of an effect. Since, well, typically gateways only come really into play later in the game, I believe. And now we get to pick our government and their act yeah, ethics. Let's see, spiritualist, militarist. These give different influences as well. Let's see, claim influence cost minus 10, ship fire rate plus 10, xenophobe. Yeah, and these also allow different things, can purge aliens, can enslave aliens, decreased opinion of other species, cannot give spe aliens full citizenship, cannot allow aliens full military service, cannot use refugees, welcome species policy. Okay, how about we're not xenophobes? Yeah. yeah. Then there's even fanatical options for, uh, for these, which are even worse. Yeah, but also up, well, let's ups the bonuses. Let's try to be a government with a strong military backbone in case of emergency. That is willing to be allies with aliens. Let's see. And yeah, so these are complete opposites. So yeah, you cannot you cannot be a militarist and a pacifist. I'm not aiming for pacifism. I'm aiming for like, okay, we can be diplomatic. But if you want to punch us, we will punch harder. Let's see. Can only use defensive force only policy. Cannot engage in indiscriminate orbital bombardment. Uh, cannot use unrestricted wars policy. Cannot engage in indiscriminate orbital bombardment. Let's see. Yeah, we can pick three of these each. Let's see. We have Xenophile, Pacifist, and let's go with Egalitarian. Thank you, Ali. Xenophile sounds about right. And yes, see some of these yeah, that, that you want to uh, find aliens and such. And some of these eliminate some of the authority options that you can take. So if we take egalitarian, we cannot take the uh, dictatorial and imperial uh, authority. 
Uh, but we can go oligarchic. Uh, well, that sounds familiar with modern day. <laughs> it uh, holds an election every 20 years to select a new ruler. Or democratic. Holds an election every 10 years to select a new ruler. Automatic resettlement we chance democratic. plus 50. I thought we tried democratic. Yeah. And then we can you know, select some civics here. As well. This is just... <laughs> you can... You can really fine tune things if you put in the time, but we don't want to put in too much time because we're already uh, now we're in 20 minutes into this stream. Yeah, so. and I, I had to say, I'm used to will Xenophy be a more, well, a sexual term? I mean, Oops. you're not wrong. I'm not looking too much into these. Advisor voice based on government. We will have equality, liberty, and justice for all. Did you know that my internal power core has an effective blast yield of over five megatons of TNT in the event of a catastrophic overload? Okay. I may what? be an artificial intelligence, but I share your enthusiasm for seeking out fellow organic intelligences among the stars. Great, even the AI for for me. Pacifist module <laughs> failing. Your breathing is so loud. It's driving me insane. Initiating count to ten protocol. One, two, three. Not working. Reboot. Reboot. <laughs> and that oh. AI just wants to quit their job. That would say you sound like a pacifist. You see no scum. Now that's one's to the point. I may be an artificial intelligence. Thinking machines are an affront to nature. These profane constructs must never be allowed to... Oh, wait. Okay, <laughs> it sounds like, like the hippie got distracted. Oh, they just realized okay. themselves are a robot. Pacifist oh, module fuck, failing. Wrong. Your breathing is so loud. I'm it's taking that one. <laughs> okay, just we hit the random button again. And finally... Oh, come on. And we even get to pick a freaking flag. Uh, let's try the chevrons. Yeah, I'm just rushing through this because we're at this for quite a while now. Even ship designs. Uh, uh yeah, that one. Fuck it. Uh, starting ruler. Hit. That again a few times. Prime Minister title, air title. Is, there is no air. Uh, Phoenix type. Hmm. Uh, I really. Hmm. Okay, if this is the. Yeah, this looks a bit decrepit. So let's go with that. Uh, that. And that. But I would have liked it if there were more randomized buttons in the everything, uh, unless like the random button, at the random empire button, would just completely make a new randomly generated species. And apparently, I have two of the DLCs here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's hit save. It. Oh. Okay, that's oh, a yeah. good sign. The game Did crashed. The game crash? Oh god. <laughs> if we didn't save the empire, then we're just hitting random. Or we could just start with a pre-existing one because fuck it. How long have we been doing? Yeah, as I said, if this, if this crash didn't save, I just say pick another game. For I think this is, I think this is because. Uh, yeah, I'm already not planning on doing at least story streams for this, but I think it might have crashed here because of a, a overhaul mod that I had installed long, long ago. Because one of the first time that I started this game up for testing yesterday, uh, I thought I clicked "Don't show again." The first time that I started this up, it it started up normal uh, Stellaris, but the second time I started it up, it started up a Star Trek uh, <laughs> conversion mod. Like everything why? was Star Trek, but I don't know why. So I'm guessing something went wrong. And yeah, our, we it wasn't saved. Okay, just random go. 
go. Game is not eligible for achievements. Okay, yep. And it uh -oh. okay, uh, crash right again. Back. All right. And um, screen share, please. The game crashed again. So if, if it crashes a third time, I'm just moving on because it's Talaris. So there's not too much I can show of it that probably hasn't been shown already by others. Like Beanie? And other YouTubers and streamers. Some Something is wrong. As, and this actually, this isn't a clean install. I, I had it installed for, no. I'm pretty sure I didn't install that Star Wars conversion mod. Because I'm pretty sure I installed the game again because Beanie started streaming it and was looking for people to join him. So, one last attempt. Let's just start with this. And... I think it's crashing again. Yep. Well, <laughs> that's the showcase for Stellaris then. A bunch of uh, Empire making and the game crashing. Oh well, number three then. Share that to you. Okay. Yeah, this is submerged. Let's see, can this one use the controller? Yes, it can. Okay, submer uh, sequel. Uh, something is going on. Uh, and it seems to be done. Okay, no sound. Or no music at the least. Yeah. Using the controller at the moment. It is, yeah, this is being screen shared. Where's the sound? Okay, yeah, where is the sounds? Options. It, it, it is on. Yeah, um, it, it sounded like almost like uh, honestly, it might have sounded like there was something, but like if it was almost turned down too low or something. I, di I didn't see any movement in the audio bar for the game. So something, either it's supposed to be silent. No, it, no there should be at least sound probably... of the waves. The heck is going. Okay, yeah, let's exit quickly. Is something screwing up with this? Because if that's the case, then we might end this a lot sooner. There is sound here. So why wasn't there later? Hmm. There it is. Okay, that was odd. Okay, um, screen share, please. 
Yep. So yeah, it seems that uh, there's been a bit of flooding. That was odd. That hmm. we'll just leave it hopefully to a one-time glitch. Now, I know I know a little bit about this game, but not much. Yeah, no, I kind of wonder. Did they speak at the beginning or not? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, that's that's an infection. Need to stop. I need something to stop Taku's bleeding. Okay. So I'm guessing we'll get uh, much of the story through silent cutscenes or silent uh, depictions. And some text. Converted into a, an engine, <laughs> into a, a boat engine. Okay. Hmm. A Leoness Hotel. I'm not sure if that's a real place or not. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the it's supposed to be its own world, but had this thing gone, or if it's supposed to be our Earth or not. Uh, we have to see with time. Therefore, at the moment, map to these structures, but you see yourself. Yeah, it, it, it's this. been like this for a while. Yeah. And they... But we still have buildings like this here and there, but... The only older style buildings here are not... The, do you expect some more, the more higher tech, bigger buildings to be around still, but looks like almost only older ones around. Hmm. Also, it could be, a, yeah, from whatever era this was, or that the new buildings were just destroyed more. And hello there, if we probably don't want to fall down. What's this? A drawing? That writing definitely isn't English or of any sort. Let's see, the city's story. Our story? Okay. The village above the water, a family of four parents, creatures and landmarks. Okay, does it mean that there will be combat in this game? Keeping a bit of an eye on the FPS because I see it sorry dip into the 50s. Hmm. Okay. Where do I climb up this? Or can I enter somewhere? Ah, here. In there. Uh, anything around? The way she swings her arms looks a bit funky to me. Yeah, it's a bit of a part. See, you know, he's also very skinny, so... True. Oh, oh, okay, it's a parachute. I thought, what the hell... Uh, again, what the hell with the helicopter scarf? 
Emergency ration. That looks that looks pretty damn old as well. Okay. Let's just look at the little clock tower. Okay, so one of the parents was a fisher, to, or a spear fisher, to feed the family. I need to find more of those cricks. Yep. Uh, um, okay, that was a big ass fin. Oh, okay. It's a So I'm guessing the didn't work out. Nope. Yep, it crashed again and again. Let's see. So, why are we suddenly in. Post-apocalyptic Seattle. <laughs> Seattle? I don't know. I don't know where What's this that? place is. Same here. Like, it looks familiar, but also not familiar. Like, it, it is similar to some building we have now, but built in a more... Hello. Where are the man out of the city? I am so confused. Okay, I've got us an upgrade for this thing. Let's see. Epoch 2, hello. Princess and the Golem. And whale intruding. <laughs> okay. Now, I, I get the feeling this is a bit... Uh, a bit similar to Horizon Zero Dawn. In that, uh, yeah, the apocalypse has been... has passed by for quite a while, or it happened a long time ago, and humanity has uh, basically built up civilization again, but at a tribal level. And yeah, Horizon is another game I'll probably be streaming sooner or later. But we, we have a schedule already at the moment, and it, it seems like those red flowers are growing wherever we can get onto place. And there was a bit of text that I skipped. Strongholds Memorial Library. Okay, this one looks a bit more modern than most of the other buildings, but still. Okay. Walls of rat plants can be climbed. Uh, oh, we have. Okay, we have a telescope. Not that it will <laughs> make much use looking at a wall with that. I am curious about this game and same here. Controls on this are a bit iffy on where but she'll actually I... go. You're not alone. Hmm? There, there's a man on the on the on the side around the corner. Are you sure that's not a statue or something? I'm very Bill? very excited. Get climb down. Can you even climb down? Yes. Oh, hello there. I'm pretty sure that's a uh, statue. A that statue is not wiggle. It's a bit much for a statue. Okay. Is that wrong? Is that you wrong? What? And is that you on the wall? No. You sure? Pretty sure. Okay, so... Some, eye on you. Something more than just the, the water levels rising happened in this world. And again, misery loves company, and one thing is often followed by another thing going wrong. Yeah. Okay. Plants above water or something? Sticks above water? Hmm. Ooh, that that's much not... 
I don't want to know how much land remains for it. And I know that when people talk about Waterworld, the show told it was unrealistic. And I feel like a cell video has shown that even if the world smelted, there would still be plenty of land uh, around. So it would be like just one or two islands, just there'd be still plenty. Yeah, some mountains at least would still be above the water. Everest for freaking sure. Yeah, there'd be a lot of islands, definitely. There wouldn't be many continents anymore, but it definitely a lot of islands. Tons mm. of islands. Ah, there we go. Ramona, I thought it was the dead end. Uh, yeah, there's another... There's a, an, yeah, an indie game, I, I believe it's indie at least, uh, called Raft, that is in, in a similar world where everything has flooded. Okay, yeah. yep. city. Tatum, Phoenix, and Xterra play it. Yeah. God, I I seen it. And they act. I think there's some. They had some Swedish. Uh, I don't know where the developers are from, but they seem to have some Swedish help for. Yeah, one of the weapons is basically made of a Swedish um, road sign. How I know? Well, it's based. It literally said something about a Swedish word on it. I forgot what word. Okay, so confirmed here then. Raft happens. <laughs> Raft uh, occurs in Sweden. Uh, I don't think it, it's just it's, it's a global thing. They talk about Thailand, Sweden, and many other countries. Yeah, I was joking. <laughs> she seems to be a bit picky about where she'll go and how, or maybe I'm just bad with picking out the past in the flowers. See that look? Okay. Here we go. And, hmm. For an apocalypse, they people sure did lock their doors after everything went to hell, it seems. That nope. or the doors have rusted shut. Pardon there. <laughs> Burp came up well <laughs> the moment that I stepped on. Okay. I am curious what the hell happened then. Okay, we go up. That would... Okay, that is a very tiny ledge that she could grab it there. <laughs> she, even stu she stuck her hands through the stone wall. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing all of this, or at least a good part of this game, is going to be getting emergency supply crates to help heal her brother. Possibly. Yeah. With, he, he's going to need a lot of antibiotics with that big ass wound on his stomach. Yep, and let's say if it's so many buildings about, yeah, I don't think they, yeah, there must be plenty of land still left around. Otherwise, we would not see these buildings at all. Uh, there's nothing there. And okay, I can see how we get there. We just go along this. Easy enough. Uh, <clears throat> easy enough. I am so curious what happened. Okay. Another picture of the city that doesn't really tell us much. Hmm. I suspect we probably learn, learn the words, or the, at least the alphabet later to be able to read. Perhaps. It did show a few of the letters with the title. So that would be a start for trying to translate it. One mm. second. Yep. All right. Okay. One. <laughs> Come on. Steal my yokes. Okay. Uh, uh, that was not what I wanted to do. It. Okay. She uses her bracelets for that. Thank <laughs> you. If she used her hands for that, she, she would have fallen down. Because, yeah, rope burn on its own is bad enough. To get rope burn at 30 miles per hour, uh, yeah, you are you don't have hands anymore. But you said it still have hands, just... Yeah, not gonna be a pretty sight. Not a pretty mm -hmm. sight at all. It was a, there was a picture of the city starting to flood. Hmm. 
Okay, there's what we need, and there's how we'll get it. Okay. Is this, is this me? Or does that look weird? Uh, like, what? in the weird? way you have... Uh, look at that club side. Like, that looks a bit off, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, that that's that's a bit too simply done, but this is a rather simple game, by the, from all I can tell. Uh, okay. It doesn't seem to be an active... Or act is she supposed to use her hands on that? Because her, she has her hands like this. So, it seems that the model is a tiny bit off on that, perhaps. Okay, let's grab this and get out. And it's a bit shitty design for whoever sent these things. Lighter. To put a single box of supplies into one of those big things. We just saw the creature, it might be a mutant. And so he drowned. I got breakfast, so I think I'm gonna leave now. You guys have fun. All okay. Right. See you later, Mr. Gates. Yep. See you later. See you later. Let's see. Okay, the other parents went out to fish, but they got caught in a storm and drowned from the looks of it. Hmm. How much time would you have? Okay. It got uh, 15 minutes still. What is with. Okay, there's barnacles growing on the whales and on whatever is remaining of humanity, it seems. Or whatever humanity turned into. Or... Most of them. Okay. Did ice asteroids strike Earth and are they just way too much more water? No. It's not completely from the sense that you see here. There's still a lot of buildings remaining. So that could have just meant that the, whatever struck uh, could have struck in a specific place and not caused global devastation. Yeah, but enough devastation to wreck a lot of cities. As most cities, especially the big cities, are close water. So those will be, yeah, most harmed. So more people will have to be flee inland. But it still, still probably would uh, force people to, uh, yeah, go tribal and such, uh, depending how quickly it happened, how many died and all that during the flooding. Yeah, and a lot of technology is dependent on, yeah, supplies. Like, so if, the, if you can't get uh, metals out of the ground anymore without, well, people drowning by the bunch, uh, yeah, you can't much use metals anymore. Yeah, as well, you need the right people to know how to work in the machines and all that for a lot of machines and engineers and all that may have been lost. Yeah. And yeah, if if, if the water rose this high, then it probably also would have destroyed a lot of libra uh, libraries and such and other knowledge deposits. It certainly would have yeah. destroyed whatever electrical networks were around the planet. Yeah. Very much doubt that there will be one of those emergency crates up here. Oh, okay, I see. This will give us access to this building, which might have one of those. Heck, uh, does this... There is another steel room stands that it surprised me. Yeah, it's, uh, this is probably the highest point in the this city. She is either 
brave or damn foolish, I, I would not cling that high. How the hell did a tree get up here? I, I, I can get smaller plants like that. The bird's eye. It's a freaking crane. Yeah, a, a tree like that would... Uh, would need a bunch of earth to grow in, not a block of concrete or whatever else is used. But yeah, we had looks like we're just getting a... One. Looks like we're just getting another page from this. Alright, and... I can imagine someone being up there and accidentally forgetting a coconut. Yeah, but it would still not solve the, the, the problem of nutrients, because... A, Trees, uh, tree roots can grow through concrete and such, but they would still need nutrients in the first place to start growing, which they would need from Earth. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, um, how's her yeah. hands? Uh, still present somehow. Gods. There's another parachute over there. Is it? Oh yeah, I think, I think coconut palm trees can grow in very little nu nutrient uh, ground sense. Well, you find on a lot of islands. The obturate creature. Oh, the, the horse statue. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised that humanity has forgotten about. Uh, how wait that was a whale the shark heck is... the heck? oh it's a boat for i thought it was some sort of creature oh yo there's a whale pop behind us okay yep. let's just get away before it starts tipping the boat over yeah listen, we seen we seen whales and whale sharks There's a pipe. Have you seen, have you seen brown seagulls? Have you it, seen it has probably blame? been like a century or two since everything went to hell. Yeah, dude, there is something else going on, like, like something that has done rapid mutation still. This is going to be a case of going back up and down to go left and right. I am damn curious about this game. So we will probably put it on us on uh, the weekend. Yeah, I can see us playing this on Saturday. Okay, what is with those big green things? The city story. Okay, we're missing. We're not getting them chronologically. Wait, I think I think I understand what's going on. Aliens. No. I think we'll probably get this box, and then we'll probably ha have be out of time. Actually, no, we're very close to the box, I, I think. And we'll see what happens next. Or what else develops next in the uh, backstory. Yeah, back uh, I saw bit. The, the path is blocked here. Oh. It's on the other side. There's the parachute, so where... Oh, there's the boxes as well. Okay. 
And we'll grab this. Okay. Green waves. Something, something happened definitely. Yeah. The question is how natural was it? Or unnatural in the reverse? Yeah. Can I since get nature, that? Since nature has been recovering, but still, it has done some harm. I think we did miss one book, but oh well. It's a big swarm of freaking bugs. Alright, what's next then? That's not a good sign. Yeah, uh, unless it was obvious, you can correct me if I'm if I'm wrong here. But did those basically say that the uh, Grand Paladins became an alcoholic? Yes, uh, at least something very similar to it. And uh, yeah, I was more speaking about uh, that this girl is very clearly infected with something. That's oh. flying fish. I can hear something in the water nearby. It's more like a dolphin. Oh, a dolphin, so. Okay, so we get those markings if we. drawings if we get close to the creature. That is similar. Well, is depicted. Yeah, I thought we were cool fool or something, but it was just a shadow of a palm tree. Hmm. Let's at least look for another. Uh, a care package. Let's see. Yep. Okay, yep. nice that it keeps a map. Yeah, I'd say they been. seem to uh, have learned metallurgy again, considering how the boat look. Mm. Is it, it has some metal and planks and all that. And of course, they, they have retrofitted that machine. Yeah. It looks a bit like a lawnmower of sorts. I think that also mo the mo boat motors that look like that. They're all long and such, but... I forgot what they are specifically used for, but I think they are specifically used for a specific boat. That requires it uh, to be like that. What's that? It's uh, just a barrel. Okay, it's very... Oh, that, the heck were... Okay, that was a big ass whale in the distance. We probably shouldn't move past the, the city limits. Hmm. Is... Is that supposed to be the Seattle Tower or Needle? Is Seattle even the, uh, the ocean? I'm not sure. I don't know where Seattle is located. Hmm. And I have to say those, those whales are creeping me out, not just because of that clearly barnacle infection, but because I also get the feeling they could very easily tip us over. Yeah, and I'm not sure if this character can swim or not. I hope they can swim. 
you probably need to swim in this world. And also, there's something about these plants here as well. Let's see, did I miss anything? this speed boost as well, just in case we're going around easier. Hmm. Good. I get the feeling that this is supposed to be an American uh, city. It because looks like... Uh, we, we've had buildings... We've had two buildings now with okay, Germanic no, not and American, Not American, not American with that. I don't think Americans have many churches like these. Mm, I'm not sure. But yeah, that is the 30 minute marker and... Okay, that, yeah, I'm just getting creeped out a bit by all of these noises around. Uh, I think we have been there. Actually, no. Wait, let's just park somewhere that is on stable ground. Oh, wait, I think we've been this. here. There's something oddly European almost with this. Hmm. Yeah, we actually know we have not been here, it seems. Okay. Or did I just not continue on? Uh, I have to check. Uh, I don't think the uh, USA have many big searches. At least not searches in these older styles. They look for me the middle ages. Out. So I think US, hmm. US searches have a bit of uh, more modernized style. Not sure on that myself. But yeah, it, it is. I I can't mm. uh, I I can't say a, a no or a yes on that. Same, just just that kind of a church. I just don't feel like I've ever seen it, it in in the American movie at all. Okay, it looks like you can't use this for translation because it has a different symbol under both of the E's. Hmm. Oh well, a, a cur I'm certainly curious with this and... Okay, apparently there isn't a new game option. Hmm. So, yeah, ne whenever we'd continue with this, we'd have to continue from here then. Or have this episode as the first one in that list as well. Or, hmm. We'll have Absolutely. to see when we eventually get to this because we already have a lot of games to do and okay I, for a moment i thought it was going to go into a demo mode or something <laughs> hmm. oh yeah for now uh stellaris is a big no because it's well for one it is not much of a story game it's more of a story you create game and yeah it crashed <laughs> three times in a row i'll have to look into that uh, I'm guessing it is because of that total conversion mod that I had installed at some point. I'm guessing some files of it are still mixed in or something. Or I don't know how they could have... Actually, they probably could have stayed into the in the documents uh, file even after I had originally uninstalled the game again. Because I, I, I installed it again uh, recently to try and join in with Beanie. So yeah, I didn't. Hmm. No, uh, no matter now. But uh, yeah, the other two, a very good chance. And let's just end that before it starts flashing us. We continually. Yeah, stealth bastard. Yeah, that's a good one for the weekends. Uh, Steam World Heist. Yeah, they'll probably be a more main, a main weekday uh, stream to put in somewhere. And yeah. yeah, Submerge will have to continue on Saturdays at some point. Hmm. Yeah, but there's something about Submerge that is making me very curious of what has happened. Yeah. For now, though, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank I, I can see you in the chat there, Trucker. Thank you for showing up. And. <laughs> Uh, thank you, especially as always, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, 
Tuesday, we'll be starting with Dishonored 2 in our Dishonored Darksiders uh, series that we were doing. And yeah, <clears throat> pardon. I I've I've avoided spoilers about Dishonored 2 as much as possible, so it'll be a new game experience for the both of us. Yeah, yeah I learned a little bit about Dishonored, but nothing too major for the story. And yeah, we'll so probably we... be busy with that for quite a while. Oh, most likely. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> Until then, though, have a nice day, and until then. Stay safe, folks.